First Class 11 has introduced the ability to view HTML messages in full fidelity. In this video, we will show you how to recognize these kinds of messages and how to view the non-embedded images that are being served up from an external server. In previous versions of First Class, the server would do its best to represent content in Internet HTML messages, but there were issues with that display. The sending email client would not always form the emails in a standard format, and to protect the first class recipient from possible security risks, non embedded images were replaced with placeholders only. As a result, some internet emails would look like this, and the only way to view the message in full fidelity would be to open the cryptic attach 0.html document in a web browser. With first class 11, this is all changed as we now use WebKit to display email and give you the ability to choose whether or not you want to view the non embedded image or not. With WebKit, you see the message exactly as it was created, and the placeholders that are displayed are the same size as the non-embedded images. No longer is there an attachment. This has been replaced by the View in Browser button. More on the purpose of this button in a minute. Notice the yellow bar at the top of the message. This is your warning. If you click on the bar, you will display the images. Each message is treated separately, so you have to make that decision to trust or not the sender on each email. If you are a very trusting soul and would like to have these embedded images displayed all the time, you can go to your Preferences, found under the First Class menu on a Macintosh, and click on the Content tab and then the Options tab, and then click on and apply Always Show Non-Embedded Images in Internet Mail option. Now you see the images are displayed immediately. There are some limitations, however. If you try to print this message, it would print the content as it used to be displayed in first class. Fortunately, you can choose View in Browser and let your web browser do the printing. The second item to be aware of is that if you forward the message, the body will convert to the old method as you are now able to edit content and we cannot edit within WebKit. However, the recipient will receive the full fidelity attachment.